makes someone an artist is they make models of their inner life. They make something physically come into being that is inspired by their emotions or their needs or what they feel the audience needs. In 1938, Frida's paintings were starting to get attention. So she takes her first solo trip abroad. She has her first solo shows in Paris and London. Her style is unique. Was it Mexican folk art? Was it surrealism? When asked, Frida simply said, I paint my own reality. Picasso gives her earrings, the Louvre buys a painting, both shows are a success. She returns home, divorces her husband Diego Rivera, and paints self-portrait with cropped hair. Her art had always been in response to her life. I would imagine that it would be a process that was sometimes very hard for her. She used her artistic process as sort of an outlet. She marries her love Diego Rivera, and she paints this. She divorces her love Diego Rivera, and she paints this. She was determined not to merely be the ex Mrs. Rivera. Diego had loved her long hair and her colorful dresses. Frida painted herself without either. She's seated in this chair with a pair of shears in one hand and a piece of her long hair in the other. She seemed to reveal a lot about herself as an artist. She was willing to kind of go to those places that not everybody is willing to go. In 1940, this is how Frida saw herself. I found myself looking around at one point in a really bleak winter in New York and it was just so depressing. And I think I needed color. You can tell what I love by the color of the paintings. You can tell my inner life by the darkness in some of them. And you can tell what I want from the brightness in some of them. People that are different have a shot at being original. You know, they got motivation too. You know, they got motivation. secondary school I had an art teacher going to the art room and talking to her and like hearing all her stories about like, like being an artist all the stuff you're able to do with being an artist yourself I feel like most people think that like it's like just selling work and art's a very powerful language for things that like we have like neglected and stuff that like we should kind of like claim it back how you got to a painting, how you managed to make a painting in the first place is almost more interesting like the process behind it. Because even like even like the painting of the tunnel and stuff like I know that someone could like paint that as well. They could, but like no one's gonna like love that spot as much as me. And like that like the work in my notebook like back so do you get me of like why I painted that, like why why I think it's important. I feel like art as like a political tale that um, it, it's kind of just underused and like no one kind of re realizes how powerful it can be and stuff like that. So like a lot of my paintings would be stuff that like I've experienced or it can like see in society that like I feel like I have some authority over speaking about. how to like make your work accessible online and I do understand that like it reaches a wider audience and like it is more important in like the digital age and stuff but like I think that does take away from when you're looking at something like it's either like good or it's bad it either it looks like you want it to look like or it doesn't like there's no change it, it's not hiding so I feel like that kind of like rawness like honesty almost is like what viewing art and in person has over viewing arts like online. I see the actual brush strokes and like the colours, like the texture and stuff. That's why paint can be so evocative and so emotional. Art 
art that recognizes its privilege and its place in the world is like beneficial to everyone that's going to see it, you know what I mean?